Uh, greetings, greetings, fellow Grade Elevens. It is your favorite tutor, Mr. Shajayo. Welcome to Back to Basics. Look, I know it's been a while, but look, what we are going to be doing today, we are going to be looking at our Euclidean geometry, right? So we are trying to analyze. This is going to be our June. I think this is our June question paper, which is from the KZN province, right? So this is from the KZN province from the year 2024, right? Now, let's see in terms of how do we go about in trying to solve these particular questions, right? Now, firstly, they are saying here you are having uh, the diagram below whereby you are given that DF, right? So they are saying DF is a, dia is a diameter of the circle with the center O, right? So which means now from here, uh, they are saying this it is a diameter, right? And what is that we already know about diameter? We know that a diameter, it is a line that, you know, cuts the circle into two equal halves, right? Now they are saying cot EG intersects DF at H such that GH and HE are equal, right? So they are saying this cuts it in such a way that these are going to be equal, right? Now, and then now we are having uh, also cot EF and also GF and also DE and the radius of OE are drawn and you are given that your angle E G F, right? It's given by 55 degrees. Now, what is the first thing that they want us to do here, right? Now, they want us to find out in terms of what is going to be the size of D, right? Now, what is size D? Size D, it's this particular angle in here, right? Now, so already here, I see my butterfly angle, right? Look, because if I can draw this from here up until here, right? Uh, Let's say this is and then I draw something like this from here up until here. I, I think there's something that you can notice from there, right? So surely you can notice that now from here, what you are having here is that this particular side, right? It's being shared by this particular angle and also this particular angle, right? So, and both of these are coming from the same circumference, right? So which means now your angle D, what you're going to have as your angle T is going to be same as 55 degrees, right? And then what is going to be the reason here? This is our uh, angles in the same segment, right? These are going to be angles in same segment, right? So these particular uh, are going to be angles in the same segment, right? Because both of them are found within the segment EF. That's why both of these are going to be equal to 55 degrees, right? So which means what you're having here, it's going to be 5, 5 degrees. Are you all fine, right? Now, they want us to also write down what is going to be the size of O2. And then they want us to also provide the reason, right? Let's just erase here firstly, right? Now, so they want us to find out now in terms of what is going to be your angle O2, right? Now, what is the best thing that you can do now from here? Now, they want us to find out what is your O2 here, right? So, and now I, I want you to look at something, right? So I want you to look at this. Can you see that starting from here, all right, let me just from here, and then this is my straight line here again, right? This is my straight line. And then also looking at this particular straight line again here, starting from here, and then you are going back here. Can you see that both of these particular angles are also subtended by the same angle, right? But now there's one thing that is different here, right? So can you see that this is going to be the angle that is at the center and this is going to be the angle that is at the circumference, right? Or to get, right? So then how do we then uh, characterize this, right? Then we are going to say, which means now, what is going to happen here? We are going to say, look, your O2, right? Your angle O2, uh, your angle O2, right? Your angle uh, O, why am I writing Q there? My angle O2, it is going to be same as what? It is going to be same as 2 multiplied by 55 degrees, right? This is 2 multiplied by 55 degrees. Why am I saying that? Remember that angle at center, right? Angle at center, right? So we are saying angle at the center is what? Is 2 times the angle, right? This is the angle at circumference, right? This is going to be the angle at circumference, right? Oh, it's okay. So that's the reason why this particular angle here, it's going to be, which means this is actually going to be same as 110 degrees, right? So this is going to be 110 degrees, which is going to be your angle O2, which means here it's going to 110 degrees. 
Are you all fine, right? So basically now that's what you are going to have in that as that particular angle, right? Now, so let's see in terms of what else then now can we have in there. Now your five point uh, two point three. Now then they want us to calculate giving reasons why angle F two, right? Or the size of angle F two, right? Now, what is going to be the uh, the size of angle F2? And where is our angle F2, right? So if you can uh, check in there, can you see that? Uh, let me just remove this firstly so that you can see here, right? Let me just remove this one here, right? So can you see that your angle O2 is this particular angle, right? Or we fine, right? So that's going to be your angle O2. Now, I want you to take note of something here, right? Now, I, I, I think, firstly, it is important for us to note that if, for an example, I can say my angle E3, right? If I can look at, let's say I am saying in triangle, right? So I am saying in triangle EOF, right? This is triangle EOF. What is that I'm having here? I am saying in triangle EOF, I'm adding my angle A E3 plus my angle O2 plus my, my angle F2, right? What is it that I'm going to have here? This is going to be same as 108 degrees because it's going to be sum of what? Sum of angles in a triangle, right? Now, but now what is important for me to note, right? Now, I want you to take note that my angle, what? My angle F2, right? Can you see that my angle F2 is going to be the same as my angle E3, why am I saying that? Because look, can you see that your angle O, can you see that your OE and also your OF, these are going to be what? Your radii. Can you see that, right? So which means your F2, right? Your F2 is going to be same as your E3. And then now what, what is going to be the reason for that? This is going to be angle opposite equal sides, right? So these are going to be angles uh, opposite equal sides, right? So, and then what is it that we know about angles that are opposite equal sides? They are going to be equal. Are we fine, right? So, because your OF is equals to what your OE. Are we all fine, right? So, angles that are opposite to equal sides, they are going to be the same. Which means, now look, if I was saying, remember I already know my O2. Remember I was going to say, look, my angle F2 plus my angle E3 is going to be same as 108 degrees subtract 110 degrees, right? And this is going to give me 70 degrees, right? If I'm not mistaken. But now, can you see that now, since your F2 and also your E3 are going to be the same, therefore, I'm going to make a conclusion that, look, my angle F2, therefore, right? My angle F2, therefore, it's going to be same as my angle E2, which are going to be same as what? Which are going to be both same as 35 degrees. Are we all fine, right? So basically now that's what you are going to have as your angle F2 and also your angle what? This is going to be your angle E2, right? If I'm not mistaken, right? Now, if let's say we are continuing now, we are looking at the last question, right? What is the last question requiring us to do? Let's just probably make up our space here, right? Let's just remove here so that we can be in a position to make up our space for the last question, right? And then we said this is also going to be same as 35 degrees, right? Now they say here, they want us to prove with the reason that DE is a tangent to a circle that is passing EF uh, and also an H uh, at what? At E. Okay, now what is it then that they want us to do now in there, right? So for this particular question, right? So they want us to prove that DE, D is a, is a tangent for which, uh, what? For uh, what for a circle passing at E, right? E, F, and H, right? So which means, for an example, if let's say you had to draw a tri a circle that that moves somewhere like this here, right? How to get? Now they are saying this particular side here, this what uh, is going to what is going to be a tangent of that particular angle, right? So what is it then that you can prove now from here? So which means uh, from where I am standing now, what you can prove now from here to prove that this is going to be a triangle, right? So I can prove that my angle E1 is actually going to be the same as what? I can prove that my angle E1 is going to be same as what? It's going to be same as my uh, F, uh, F2. Are we all fine, right? By so doing that, I can now be in a position to prove that this is going to what this is going to be a tangent. Now, what is the first thing that I'm going to do now from here? Let me start here. 
can we not agree that my angle what can we not agree that here right let me just make up our space here a little bit right can we not agree that my angle h3 right so can we not agree that your h3 plus uh, and also your h2 are actually going to be cos 90 degrees look let me say for an example your angle h2 right your angle h2 is going to be same as what is going to be the same as your angle h3 right why am i saying that maybe let me start with my h2 why am i saying my h2 is equal to 90 degrees right so my angle h2 is equal to 90 degrees because right because if a line drawn from what from center that is perpendicular to the chord it bisects the chord right and now what is it that you know already if the chord a bisected which means the line was perpendicular here we are applying the converse of low one right remember now because they told us that e a e h uh and also your h c are equal therefore i can now conclude that my o h is perpendicular to what to my e h right are we all fine right so i can say my h2 is equal to 90 degrees right or actually before i can do that maybe i need to start by proving why is this 90 degrees right so uh, then I am saying my H2 uh, is equal to 90 degrees because, right, because my, uh, what, because my EH, or rather because of my, what, because of my uh, EH, which is going to be the same as, because of my EH, which is going to be uh, equal to what, equals to my, what, my HC. Why am I saying that, right? So, which means I am saying a line drawn from the center perpendicular to the chord, it bisects the chord, right? Actually, let me just put it this clearly to say line, this is line from center, right? This is line from center uh, to uh, the, what, to the midpoint, to the midpoint, of a what of a chord right so this is line from center to a midpoint of a chord right now it bisects the what it bisects the chord are we not fine right so which means we can agree that your h2 is going to be same as 90 degrees right so can we not agree now that your h3 is going to be the same as your h2 which both are going to be 90 degrees right why am i saying that because of these are going to be sum of angles in a triangle right or sum of angles in a straight line, not sum of angles. These are going to be angles in a straight line, right? So these are going to be angles in a straight line. Why am I saying these are angles in a straight line, right? Because if this is 90, this is going to be 90 because all of them angles in a straight line must add up to 180 degrees. Are we together? Right? So these are going to be, therefore, angles that are going to be in a straight line. And now that I've done that, what else then now I am going to do now from here? So I want you to look at something here. Now, if this is 90 degrees, what is it that I can do now from here? Can you see that I can say my angle H3 plus my angle D there? Let me just check what is this D, right? My angle D plus my angle D, right? Plus my angle D here. Uh, plus my angle E1 is going to be same as 108 degrees. Why am I saying that? These are, these are going to be because sum of what? Sum of angles in a what? In a? triangle right now can we not agree that my angle e1 is going to be same as 180 degrees subtract 90 degrees plus 55 degrees right and then what is this going to be now can you see that this is going to be 35 degrees which is going to be this one right so can you see that this is 35 degrees and now if this is 35 degrees now can you see that your angle what your angle e1 your angle E1 is actually going to be the same as what? And it's going to be the same as your angle F2. Oh, it's okay, right? So if your angle E1 is going to be the same as your F2, why am I saying the same as F2? Because F2 is also 35 degrees, right? Now, therefore, I can say my DE is a what? My DE is a tangent because if you are we had to draw a circle that passes here, right? A circle that passes in here you'll realize that this will be a tan chord. Are we together, right? So this is going to be DE is tangent, right? So this is DE is tangent. Why am I saying DE is tangent? This is converse tan chord theorem. So this is converse tan chord theorem.
Oh, it's okay, right? So basically, this is the reason why this is going to be like that. Are we fine, right? Hopefully, all of this makes sense, and you are in a position to understand, uh, to understand these types of questions whenever you are given, right? Thank you very much for listening.